Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. I was going to be Penguin in the next Batman film, but then, you know, they had to fucking stop making Batman films because Christian Bale's a bitch. And he was scared. I was going to make him look bad. It was going to be Heath Ledger all over again, just without the overdose. <laughs> Welcome to the Spinner Rack, issue 18. This week will be... <laughs> this week we'll be discussing DC's is it Villains Month? Super Villains Month. For, I thought they had for, for, forever, forever Evil. evil. Yeah. <laughs> forever Furries. Forever Evil. I thought that was the miniseries. They're actually going to call the whole month Forever Evil. I don't know. Villains United was a issue. Uh, Villains United was a miniseries. A miniseries. In the Infinite Crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just call it Forever Evil. Whatever. I can care less. It's our Forever Evil discussion. Yay. As nice. always, I'm Brian Adams. Junior. Carrie. John. And we're discussing the... John. Bunch of <laughs> you. <laughs> you caught that, right? Don't mock me, motherfucker. <laughs> it's like... Brian, Junior. Carrie. John. It's like he's, he's fucking Bobby Brady in the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> the singlet was a little tight. Right? A little bit. You're, you're really obsessed with that singlet, I thought aren't it was, you? It was, it was different, John. You know, Junior had his fun with it for like five minutes. I, my old, I, it was like, dude, just fucking wear it. David was, po- David was poking fun. You're the only one that's still latched onto it. Do you have like some fetish with it? I or may something? get one. I may get one. Okay, <laughs> keep that. Keep that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so back to our topic. We're what? Two years. What is this? Two years deep into the new Fifty Two. Mm-hmm. Is it now considered the old Fifty Two? No, it's still. Yeah, it's going to be the new 52 10 years from now. Yeah, which is stupid. When, the, d- when the, then becomes the new new 52. See, now, now to me, it just feels that like that was. scene from Grown Ups where like, the son goes up and he's getting milk from the mom's tit and they ask him how old he is and he goes, 48 months. That's four. We're yeah, just stunned. Yeah. We're just. <laughs> so gro- I'm just stunned that someone would actually see Grown Ups. <laughs> I just know, that explains I, why I there's a Grown funny. Ups too. Are you fucking shitting me? It was funny. Did Dude, half the script was entirely yeah. improv. Mm. If you didn't see it, and it's one thing to bash a movie. Oh, I, it's another thing to bash a movie you've ever seen. I ain't seen Paul Blart Mall Cop. Doesn't mean no one's fucking, fucking seen that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who would want to see that shit? I saw that shit. Did you fucking <laughs> really? Did you see Observer Report? Dude, you gotta remember. Observer Report was horrible. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that movie fucking sucks. It was fucking great, dude. That movie you sucks. You missed the point of that fucking movie. I what? The we're... small Chinese dick? Small t- what are you talking about? The Hangover? No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember there being a small Chinese. Oh, that fucking <laughs> guy! That's right. <laughs> that was a creepy ass little innie. It looked like a thumb. <laughs> he had the fat guy thumb. I love how you go into details about it. Yeah. How many hairs did it have? Brian? I owned that movie. It was fantastic. He wasn't really that hairy. <laughs> wow. But he did have a gut, and he probably hasn't seen his penis in a long time either. Which would probably turn him into a villain. Which is what our topic is: villains. Evil, whatever the fuck it's called. Villain. Forever evil. Forever, Forever evil. evil, whatever. It's it's your it's a villains month like they did before D- fifty two. No, because they're citing this as DC's first company wide yeah, crossover yeah. since the new fifty two began. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, celebration of two years. Pretty much. First year we got zero month, which in my opinion just pissed me off because it derailed every fucking story I was reading and I had to wait two months to fucking find out what happened next. Right. Now we get. Villains Month. Well, the villains. September. The vi- yeah. No. Next month. August. Oh, sure, September. September. August is the anniversary, isn't it? September. September. Is it September? Do you remember the twenty-first September? September. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with the B sharps over here. <laughs> We're gonna start a Bee Gees cover band. I like that. Nice. <laughs> I got I own that CD. First there was the Bee Gees, then there was the Heebie Jeebies. Speaking of Bee Gees, you guys keep recording. I'm gonna go drop one. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead serious. You're gonna go drop a deuce while we're recording? Yep. Right. I can't bring the mic with me. I was gonna say go. <laughs> That'd be yeah, fucking right. weird. Everybody sit in the back room with me. <laughs> ah, hold off. You'll hold off. I can try. What, okay. a, what a trooper. I can try. What a trooper. Okay, so <clears throat> in my opinion, Villains Month come in September. Cash fucking plug. Dude, it's a cash of pull. course. It's a cash pull. Every issue that, I mean, now, instead of just buying Batman, you've got to buy Batman, Batman 24? 23. Well, it will be 23. 23. 23. 
Possibly point fucking five. No, only point four. Only point four. But the thing that pisses me off, it's again, it's one of those things where it's all Batman villains. Well, of course. In the Bat books, yeah. Yeah. Well, no. books. well, notice though, half the other fucking titles don't even have them. Just no, die. they all do. They all do. I know. Every book's got at least one. It's every book. The way I see it, just dial League. down Batman. Okay. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me get to the top of the list here. Justice League twenty three point one is Dark Side. Point two is Lobo. Since when was Lobo a villain? Mm. Really? Yeah. Yes and no. Okay. Anti hero. Yeah. It's like the Punisher. I yeah. Think. Point three is Dial E. Who the hell is that? They're introducing that. Now now it's like the introduction for the character. Dial E. I guess it's the opposite of Dial H. Well, I think they're going to spell out hero. I think they're doing Dial H, Dial E, Dial R, Dial O. But I have no fucking... That's fucking retarded. That? This is not a good book, dude. It's horrible. If when Junior comes back, we can discuss a little bit of Dial H, because he actually read it. (laughs) Don't don't even get him started. I myself had to read the first issue... Three times to see the train wreck, and I really didn't understand what's going on. Ah, it was one of those DC yeah. ones where it's. Mm-hmm. I thought, like, what the hell just happened to Christ? Right, right, okay. Like, like, like it was Final Crisis or something. Oh, I just missed gotcha. Something. Yep. But it sucked. So anyway, the whole point is that every book has at least one. Most of them have three or four. About Everybody's give or take. At least one. The only thing I find stupid is that like Deathstroke has his own, Deadshot has his own. They're already in fucking titles. Why do you need to give them their own thing? No, I, that's I, I totally understand that. I, I can get that. that that's that's kind of it's kind of pointless and dumb to do that. There's really no need if they if they already have an ongoing. I mean, I can understand that if they did something for like Harley Quinn because they announced at San Diego, Harley Quinn is now getting her own ongoing monthly. Uh, that's something we should have brought up last week. <laughs> we should have. We should have. I forgot. I actually write about that. It's one of the few yeah. things I write about. Mm-hmm. Her first issue is going to be drawn by 22 different artists. That's fucking which awesome. Which means that each artist is getting a page. <laughs> which essentially means that DC didn't know who they wanted to put on the book. It's going to suck. Yeah, but no, it, to me it's a cash grab. Like It's going to be... Oh, of course. Each book I said has got at least two. At least, give or take. At least two. Even Aquaman. I think Aquaman's got Ocean Master and Black Manta. Yeah. Which, uh, do you really need all that? And then all the books are going up a dollar in price. Which, you know, way to... Well, they're all... To, they're all th- to hold on hey, to they're all three, the line hey, at $2.99. They're all 3D covers. Yeah, who gives a shit? Is this, not, is this 90 fucking two? Hey. I, when are we going to... Are they going to start doing Chromium again? I've... Different covers. Image so does fucking right. chromium covers. Uh-huh. Is Youngblood coming back? Shh, it yeah. might. Yeah, right. It might. Hey. Jesus. I've never had a 3D cover fo- before, so I'm happy to say I want really? a 3D cover. They did some sweet ones on Amazing Spider-Man. Like 90. Uh, Sounds right. When uh, issue 3, 70-something of Uncanny X-Men, when Wolverine loses Animantium, it's got a sweet hologram cover. Issue 300 of... I mean, oh, no, wait, no, that was Chromium. Or it wasn't even Chromium, it was, like, foil. Like, the colored foil, so it looked flesh. It was all those 80 books, you know? Here, know. <laughs> here you go, well, six different covers with six different holograms. This, this and six of the 90s. Yep. Let's make so many of them. And, yep. It's sad, kind of pathetic. Leather-bound comics. Comics with 24 caracol covers. It's gay. <laughs> and now DC's bringing it all and back. Right? DC's bringing it on. Three ninety nine. Bringing it back. That's uh, that's the biggest disappointment for me is that like, as a fan, okay, I read, eh, twenty to twenty five DC titles a month, give or take. Now you're taking where I was spending seventy to eighty dollars a month, and you're asking me to triple, possibly quadruple that. To get the fuck you, man. But that's that's kind of the state of comics Sept- in general, though. September you know, you comic pick, book nerds are yeah. going to go bankrupt. Pick, pick your <coughs> your basic books and... Pick your poison. Stick with Well, them. I feel like that's a month that... Not buying any comics. Thank you, DC. I'm saving 80 bucks. Which I'll end up spending on Batmobiles anyway. But it's just a... It's a lame... Just a lame cash grab ploy, I feel like. I feel like every time... 
that both companies are ridiculously guilty of this. I'm sure you'll agree with me, John. Every fucking event is a setup for the next event. Oh, hell yeah. They're Definitely. never self-contained. Definitely. Instead of like, we're going to do one big event every year. Mm-hmm. We're going to do event after fucking event after fucking event. And you know, five years ago, they were like, we're going to slow down events because we don't want the fans to have event fatigue. Motherfucker, event fatigue is overset in. It's overset in. And oh, so, uh, you know, it all starts with uh, Justice League, the Trinity War, which is running through the tr- three Justice League. Is titles. any good, though? I've read, War, I've read the first two parts. You know, it's kind of creative because, like, from what I've read, specifically on, like, the reviews and everything, or the previews, everyone, like, they keep on saying, like, oh, it's obvious. I remember, like, at the end of issue one, they announced that, like, Superman's going to jail and a Justice League member goes rogue and everyone just went they jumped to conclusion like oh it's fucking Batman well if you read part two it's not Batman what, once again is the story any good it's it's not bad okay. trade paperback <laughs> it's <clears throat> it's been better than anything they've done in Green Lantern Lantern lately I don't Green Lantern has been fucking extremely pathetic since the new 52 I haven't paid attention to Green Lantern uh, since the new 52 <laughs> well they did that whole Sinestro line because at the end, oh, yeah. at the end of the original DCU, Sinestro becomes a Green Lantern again, and how Jordan gets yeah kicked out. So when the new Fifty Two starts up, he's it's pretty speaking much of, him. I'm back. Nice <laughs> shot in the dark. I had two minutes. <laughs> so we're, we're just discussing how the pretty much everything is like just a money grab, and it's crap, and it's it's you know all part of event bullshit. And, I mean, is it wrong? Is it, it's it's wrong for them to ask someone to spend triple the amount of money to get all the content? Yeah. Well, e- isn't each story supposed to be self-contained based off that whatever villain is being featured? I believe so, but it all ties into Forever Evil. True. Which will come. I think so. Yeah. Actually, I think the first issue of Forever Evil. Comes now, is this down. is this series yeah. going to be similar yeah, to Dark Forever, Rain? Yeah, it starts. Where the bad guys kind of win. That's what it's. Yeah, like it's like. Well, it's uh, gonna, it's going to in some ways spin out of Trinity War. All, yeah. all they've kind of announced so far is that Lex Luthor... He's like, like the head of it. Yeah, he's like the head of this group, and because of him, got rid of September all three 4th. Justice Leagues in one shot. Okay. The Justice Leagues well, are gone. Well, like I said, I agree with him, though I, it's spinning out of Trinity War. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Whatever's going to end in Trinity... That's why I said it's it's they do events nowadays to launch an event. Yeah. Like... I don't get Marvel... We'll talk about Marvel later. not having an event in July really. It's like the events happen in the summer. Mm. I can understand DC. Okay, they're keeping their events, you know, until August because of the relaunch or whatever. But for Marvel, I have Age of Ultron in the spring, and then nothing really in the summer, and then you get Hunger. Infinity. But that's not even. I don't even count that as huge. I count that uh, as like minimal. I didn't say huge. Just an event. Mm. Siege wasn't huge. It was only four issues. Well, Hunger is more of a. Uh, it's an alternate thing. Mm. So, that's, I'm not really so it doesn't count. I think the pretty coolest, much. The coolest the thing in the universe <laughs> is like the bastard child of Marvel. It pretty much. Because they, they don't know what they're fucking doing with it. Readership has gone down on it so much. And then, uh, from what I see, you're like, oh, everybody's going to be tested. This is going to be the last stand of the Ultimate Universe. So, I don't know if they're ending it. Another relaunch. I, who knows? That but would that's, be a mistake. Because the last two years, the Ultimate Universe has been fucking fantastic, in my opinion. I've read it all. Um... But I, I would think the coolest thing coming out of this villains thing, the three D covers. Come on, man! You're, you're just talking about that. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh yeah. He didn't grow up in the age of gimmicks, so yeah. it's new to him. He missed right. the nineties. Well, I mean, look, I'm looking at it from a financial standpoint. They're releasing variant covers left and right for these fucking books, forty, fifty, sixty bucks a pop because they're sketch covers. Where th- you think about it, a sketch cover is a lot cheaper to produce than a colored version. Mm. You know, and they're all incentive. Yeah, variants. it's just and the white cover, right? Yeah, and they're no the the black and white ones. Oh, okay, so no the, color. Okay, right on. You know, and it's just like you're painting. You said like sketch cover. I thought it was just like the pure whites. So you get sketch on blank. the cover. Oh, they're called blanks. Yeah, but I mean, just think about it. You're going to spend X amount of dollars on just another piece of art and really nothing fancy to it. Give me a gimmick. I mean, don't flood the market again. Mm. But dude, come on. Growing up, how cool was it when you fucking saw Fatal Attractions and you saw the fucking hologram card on the cover? Come on. I don't remember which one that was. I don't remember what that was either. Are you serious? Totally not. You grew up... Serious? I don't remember. Well, you... Uh, you? <laughs> no. 
You don't remember Fatal Attractions? The storyline where Magneto rips the adamantium out of Wolverine. Oh, yeah, we just talked about right. that. I didn't know that's what the storyline was called. Yeah, remember how every issue had the fucking hologram on the cover? It was like right. a card? Those I have. Yeah, totally. Totally. Okay, well. I remember the hologram. Well, I really just said that! Too. I said every, co- every issue had a fucking hologram card on the cover. And you both looked at me like, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, you said Fatal Attractions. Yeah, we had no idea the storyline. Wait, you guys read the comics. You don't read the title? It's we don't, the we don't remember it. It was like, it was like 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was like the and it wasn't that great. Lines. It was okay. Yeah, it wasn't that good. It was good. Come it on. That good. It really Dude, wasn't. Magneto you, got gas, you got gas, bone caught Wolverine, who's still doing shit that regular Wolverine could do, like <laughs> climb up the side of fucking buildings with bone claws. Come on. It's horrible. <laughs> The first fucking time that I saw I need somebody take, my age. And it's a, take bone claw and shove it through a concrete wall, I was like, I'm done with the shit. And not, not only that, all these years it finally took my go, you know what, I'm just going to suck the animantium and he couldn't do it before. Right. He, didn't, I don't say, he didn't suck anything out of nobody. He pulled the... the he pull, yeah, he didn't suck nothing out of nobody. Let's get that right. All right, just saying. So, well, sensitive there, Gene? <laughs> not as... <laughs> hey, you know, he, he might have sucked it out, you know. <laughs> yeah. <the> wolf, you <laughs> You can't look at him. <laughs> I, 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 I hear on one that Hugh Jackman's gay. <laughs> and I know for a fact that... You Notice know, he uh, did not say Hugh Jackman. He said Hugh Ackerman. <laughs> did I? Yeah, yeah. You fucking... You want to get sued or something. You said like Hugh Jackman. Like yeah. You just combined Some huge it. Huge jackass. Something like that. And you know what's-his-face is totally gay, right? Who? Magneto. Oh, yeah. The old guy. Yeah. Ian, Mc- Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen. Sir, Ian Sir motherfucker. Sir. Gan- Gandalf. He's been knighted. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey is totally gay. <laughs> 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 he was in... What other fucking movie was it that he was in? Because there's a... He's been in a bunch of stuff. Well, no, no, no. There's, there's a picture online of him wearing a t-shirt that says, I'm Gandalf and something and Xavier. Get over it. Or something. Well, he wasn't in the Harry Potter movies, was he? No. God, what... He's Gandalf and Magneto. Right, but there was something else that they mentioned. Like, I don't fucking remember. What the hell would it... I don't know. Okay. Patrick Stewart. Xavier. Star Trek. And what else was he in? That was big? He was in musicals. Yeah. I said big. He was in Excalibur. Hey. Oh, that's right, he was. Alright. Excalibur was the shit. We're good. How far? 17. Oh. So, yay, 3D covers. Yeah, it's, it doesn't excite me, and one shots about the villains doesn't excite me. Especially really, that doesn't excite you? To me, that excites. Especially me. when some of the villains had their own series. Yeah, like Death yeah, Shot. we talked. Yeah, Death you just, you just combined Death Deathstroke Stroke. and Deadshot in one day. Same, same guys. <laughs> the same douches. <laughs> they both got one fucking eye and shoot people. It's the same thing. I think mm. it'd be a little bit more better if it wasn't being flooded at you. Four issues, three issues right? on a weekly mm. basis. All these titles. Maybe if they did it, you know, hey, just in Justice League or something. Or hey, maybe just like Superman. One, one month, you're going to get all that. 200 man. issues. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's fucking insane. That's overkill. And, and then, then you jack the price up. To and then in not. October they're gonna be like, "Oh look, DC had the market share for fucking something." Yeah, because you have released two hundred fucking books. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Mm-hmm. It's like JLA. Did JLA need fifty three fucking covers? Okay, so who do you think? Okay, supposedly if the Justice League or all, all three leagues, that. huh? <laughs> I said thanks for not answering that. I didn't hear what the fuck you asked. I said, did Justice? Did JLA need fifty three fucking covers? No, of course not. Fifty four. I'm sorry, it was fifty four. No, of course it? not. It was ridiculous. Yeah, the, how many? The hey, 52 hey, states. Hey, one of the Because it was Justice League no, of America. In the 52. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. So that made 52. You had the American flag, 53. The combo cover, 54. Uh, the sketch cover, 55. Okay. Super lame. And somewhere there's and some guy there sitting in his mom's exclusives. basement with all of them on his wall. Seriously. I didn't get them all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't get any of them. Fuck that comic book. Hey, I only I got, got the it. Illinois one. I got that one and I got the Puerto Rico one. I got what was on the stands. <laughs> this motherfucker got the red name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got Alabama. No offense to any Alabama listeners out there. There we was go. Is that the Confederate flag? <laughs> I think it was. Dude, I totally bought that. Why did you think about that? That's just... That. Well, I'm just saying. It's money. Watch, they do, do, like, watch they do like a fourth printing and they're just like, you know, right. we ran out of the They never did a second printing. Yeah, you know why? Because there were so fucking many of the other ones that yeah. didn't need to. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I walk in here and there's a goddamn 
fucking wall. wreck. A wall of them? Like every single cover. He was a tidal wave of America. Right? Okay, so what do you think, with all these Justice Leagues not part of this, supposedly because they're dead, so what they say, who stands up? Is this like the sidekick's time to shine? Is it like the B-lister's time to shine? How do the heroes come back, and why even do this? What's the point? Where do you see this going? Like, because, you know, every like at least with Marvel, you can look back and be like, okay, you that event, yeah, that event caused this, which caused that, which caused this, you know? Like, right. where do you see this going? Like, how, what is what happens? Uh, who fucking knows, dude? Earth 2 comes in, new heroes, Justice Society kicks them all out. So I was wondering, like, how yeah, it tied in, because I thought Trinity you well, know I didn't know it was in between the three leagues. Now that I fucking think about this, he, he just brought up a great point. This forever evil shit goes into Earth 2. Yeah. How, what the fuck? It's a paradox. <laughs> well, see, I thought when they first announced Trinity War, mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be thinking. I thought it was going to be between you know Pandora, Phantom Stranger, and the and, question. And the question. Oh, yeah. backed which, up which, by which, Justice League. Yeah. yeah. With three three issues deep, that's clearly not what's happening. I haven't read any of them. I read. Well, who I knows? It might get one. to that point though. Yeah, but at this point, you have Justice League Dark kind of doing their own thing, but many members of the J- of the JLA and the JL have come together. Okay. With the exception of Wonder Woman, who went rogue mm-hmm. and is with JLD. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's not really. Now, who's the one that died? Did somebody die? Doctor Light. I haven't read. Oh boy! Shocker again. Well, well sure. no, he didn't die the first well. time. <laughs> but he was like the nice. main thing in the uh, identity crisis. Yeah, he was like the. He's the one who raped Sue Dibney, and then they mind wiped him. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So what the fuck? Why Doctor Light in the front again? Who killed well, him? Supposed Superman. Superman. Really? Yeah. Because apparently, like, so, okay. see, Superman he does Superman. kill in the comics a lot. Like Doctor Light's like Doctor Light's a solar battery, or like he sets off solar, whatever the fuck it was, and apparently he triggered Superman. He's the heat. reason we wear a copper tone forty five. Totally. Essentially, okay. and he, and like apparently he triggered Superman's heat vision, and you know Superman was grabbing. What the fuck are you doing here? Ah, I killed him. And apparently Shazam is the key to everything. Why? Duh. <laughs> like apparently Shazam's. Powers, you probably didn't read Constantine number five. Shazam's a fucking horrible book, I don't believe. <laughs> I just read it, just, you know. Because it's Constantine and you don't, you don't pay for the shit. Maybe it's free. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in Constantine, he steals away. In JLD, the third part of Trinity War, Constantine takes off with Shazam. And that story's continued in Constantine five, which is pretty much Constantine is trying to take Shazam off the board because Shazam can open Pandora's box. <laughs> so I'm assuming, and I'm totally going to make this call right now, that Forever Evil is going to happen because at the end of Trinity War, Shazam is going to open Pandora's box, and all the heroes are going to get trapped in it. Hmm, I can see that. So instead of there being... Because de- they didn't say they were dead, they kind of said they're off the board. No, it says in the new previews, it, it says, says Justice League is dead. Yeah, it says the Justice League is dead, the Justice League of America is dead, Justice League Dark is dead. Yeah. Well, dead being a relative term. Yeah, dead, what know. the fuck does dead mean in comics? You know. Sure, you know? The characters may not be dead, but the dead Justice no, League may be dead. That doesn't mean shit unless you're Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I Or Captain Stacy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, what, uh... I, I want to know how, what the tie is, because they're, they've they hinted... Have you read Phantom Stranger at all? Yeah. Dude, that is a great book. It's, it's pretty good. It's funny because it's Danny Dio writing it. Yeah, I know. He wrote Omac in that book. Omac so. was tremendous, dude. I hated it. I loved Omac. <laughs> I hated it. I thought Omac was just fun, dude. It was good, escapist fun. But with some badass Jack Kirby inspired artwork. I loved his Phantom Stranger, and then like I'm curious of the whole you know the Phantom Stranger, the the Pandora, and the question, the question thing. And it's just like okay, Trinity War threw me off because that that was going to be. But then I want to know. I don't know if they're going to go back to it or what. Why was Pandora present in Flashpoint at the end when the universe is merged? And what do these three people have to do with the New Fifty Two? Because remember, she was the one that was there. Mm. Yeah, she's the one that. Yeah, she was the one that told us. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Why? How does that all merge together? Because Jeff Johns is secretly a dick. <laughs> that sucks. I met the guy. He's a very nice guy. Hey, he's a great writer, man. Sure. I would nice hate to think that he just ruined shit just because. But no, that's what I want to know. Because that's the part of the New 52 that really caught my attention. Well, it doesn't. Because I've always been fascinated be by like religion no, and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, wasn't so, she in every single issue? Yeah, she was in every number one issue, every first yeah. issue. 
She's somewhere. Some. She's hiding. I, I look through. I have all number one. I look through every single fucking one of them. I found her. It's like finding. It's like where's Waldo? Except. That's I'm probably their point. Waldo. That was probably their point for the first issue. Where's Pandora? I don't think they're gonna ever answer that question. I don't think that question. You know, will ever I think answer. that question will be answered when they're when they say, "Okay, the new Fifty Two is over." No. I still feel. I think I was telling you about this on Friday. I'm. I'm not sure. I still feel that the new Fifty Two is an event itself. It's not a new st- universe. It's just. It's another event. I don't I, know. You know, I could see it. You know, it'll be the next crisis. Crisis of the new Fifty Two. That was an awesome eye roll. <laughs> Thank <Bucket> you. Junior. <laughs> Makes me nice. Weird. Now you guys are surprised why I stopped buying books mostly. No, I, I completely understand, man. It sucks. <clears throat> the state of comic books is going down. Because they're starting to treat comics like Hollywood treats the movies. They don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> fuck what happened before. <laughs> Dude, do you realize See, but here's the, the thing. 52 is more continuity heavy than the old DCU was? No. I think so. It's a headache trying to figure out how all this shit fits together. I knew how it fit together before. Oh, I mean, well, yeah, when you put it that way, when you kind of, the way you made it seem, it seemed like they had their shit together. No, they don't. Yeah, no, not at all. Not, that not that's at all. You, that, that's how you meant it. That's where we're like, you know, Snyder's like, you need Batman Year One. No, you don't. Like no, you year actually, year. you do. Batman Begins was because, fucking Batman Year One. Because Year One is now obsolete because they fucked with everything so much. James Gordon Jr. In, in year one was like four years old. Well, then how is it ten years later and he's I'm in his twenties and a psychopath? With and missing, out. yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Missing out. part of the Suicide hey, Squad. He's, is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah saying, they had there's, a, there's a theme going with the missing eyes oh, and he's the. I was about to say he's the I, psycho so version of Nick Fury. I've been mm-hmm. behind on some of my reading. I have all the Suicide Squad up up to this latest issue. I don't have this latest one. But I haven't been reading them. Uh, Batgirl, the last one I read was number 19, where he cracks his back and she fucking throws him over the bridge and he dies. Yeah, well, his body's never found Uh. until you read Suicide Squad 20. Okay. And then Waller's got him. Mm. So now she's like his, almost like the calculator was. Yeah, he's the tactician of Suicide Squad. Gotcha. Has that guy even shown up? Who? No. The calculator? Nothing. Closing this kind of boring DC podcast. I well, you know, it just sucks because we don't have anything positive to say about it. That's true. There's nothing positive to fucking say about it. Like just like how Age of Ultron, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of positive to say about it either. Spoiler alert, next Wait. issue. Next issue I'm gonna shit all over <laughs> Brian Michael Bennis' face and wipe my ass with Age like, of Ultron. I know that smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my ass with that fucking black poly bag. So you, so you didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, no. That's putting it nicely. That's <laughs> putting it. You didn't like nicely. it. All right, closing this new Fifty Two villains thing. I just gotta, you know, because a lot of fans were in an uproar about this character not being there. I just gotta ask, Barry or Wally? <sighs> God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you know, two years ago, I just said Wally. But right now, I'd have to say, I'm a Barry Allen fan. I'm always Barry Allen all the way. However, though, Justice League 3000, not feeling that Flash is Wally. You guys have not seen the promo art for it? Yeah, Justice League 3000. You know? Yeah. No? No. Justice League in the year 3000. Come on, you're like the comic book. You work in the fucking store. If anyone should be tapped into the fucking bloodline of comics, it should be you. I've been out of it, man. I haven't... He's like, see... You guys, you should know you got a little one at home, but yours is not running around yet. Man. Nobody's rolling all over the fucking place. I don't have time to look at any of this shit, dude. I get my previews. It's fucking Wally. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to look through previews until like the day before it's due. This guy takes it home, reads it in the fucking car on the drive home. Basically. See? Alright, bury your wall. Bury. I don't care. <laughs> How dare you? Well, I just figured you would have said Barry. It's a tough question to answer, dude, because in the mid-80s, when I started really reading comic books, Barry Allen was dead. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> hell of a drug. <laughs> Barry Allen knows all about the speed force. <laughs> 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 
We're trapped in the speed force while I <laughs> snort too many eight ah, ah. But no, it was difficult for me. And then they did the Flash show, and I was kind of pissed off that the Flash show was Barry Allen and not Wally West. And then when they were bringing him back, I was pissed off because you've got a good character in Wally, but they kind of ruined him with the family thing. So I'm happy to have Barry around. Um, I don't know if either one of you know the Flashpoint straight to uh, the DC Direct movie or whatever that they do. Mm. You know? Flashpoint Paradox? Yeah. yeah. Is that out yet? It's awesome. Is it out? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. So that was come on July. I don't remember it's if it's, it's coming. I've had it for three weeks. <laughs> it's coming Tuesday or if it was last Tuesday. God damn it. I just well, hold on. How much itself. different is it than the actual comic book? Because I know DC, the, I know the DC animated movies like to change some things a little bit. Well, because... I have a little one. I have not made it through it yet. Oh, really? Okay. Between working and an eight-month-old, man, it's hard to watch a 72-minute fucking movie. <laughs> Takes, like, three weeks. Especially when he starts like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hey, a little rum work for our parents, man. <laughs> right? Bring it back. Bring it Seriously. back. <laughs> we can talk about it sometime, though. I, I would want to introduce the concept of doing... Um, Comes out this Tuesday. Animated versus story arc. Hmm. Because I have a lot to say about a lot of these animated movies versus their fucking written counterparts. Or I should say printed. Every single one, too. Because I go back and read almost everything before I watch it. But anyway. Yeah, he doesn't have time to sit through a 72 minute movie. But it's time to go back and read everything. Do you get well, that? No, lately. I haven't think it to read. Dark Knight Returns, but I watched the movies. That was pretty accurate. They kept it pretty, yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty dead on. All right then. So Forever Evil, or as I call it, Forever Suck. <laughs> Issue seventeen. Go fuck yourself. Issue eighteen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. Did I say seventeen at the beginning of this episode? I don't know. I'm gonna have to edit it. <laughs> Anyway, issue 18, Forever Evil. Fuck you, Dan Dio, Jim Lee, and Jeff Johns a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. What's I still like, like a Green Lantern. What's like Michael Bay raping my childhood? I hate Green Lantern. It sucks. Ever since he left, it's horrible. Oh, that's fine. It yeah. just sucks. Wait, Michael Bay. Wait, what are you talking about? I said much like Michael Bay raping my childhood. <laughs> How so? Transformers. I don't know. That was my thing. Hey, depending on how Transformers is. Before coming there, Ninja Turtles. Sorry. Yeah, Ninja Turtles. No. no. You do not bash the shell. Yeah, hey, cool. you, hey, been been out yet. yeah, you're saying that now. What happens if you see it? Well, that's a different thing because I would have watched it. I can judge something after I watch it. But you want the negativity now because then it, no, because then it's not going to make you go in and you're like, this is going to suck. And then when it's fucking great, you're like, all right. No, I would. I, I'm not that way. That's I probably why I liked Man of Steel because I was so fucking ready to go in there and be epically disappointed because of Superman Returns, and I was like, fucking this was. Excellent. I, I Save it from Wolverine. And then the big penis <laughs> things that they launch the Kryptonians off on. <laughs> <laughs> if I bash a movie like really, really bad, I will not go. Because I'm bashing it. Why the fuck am I going to pay to go watch it? I'm not going to watch it. But I'm it's a childhood, so if you bash it, Alien Turtles. Oh, good God. He's, ex- he's explained that one to me like 80 I, times. I am so tired of explaining that to people. It's, it's, it's actually it's a pretty good explanation for it. I guess I'm going to have to now because the listeners are like, okay, what? <laughs> I, I think we covered that in our All Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing, did we not? What issue? Plug it! <clears throat> Go back and re- uh, listen to it. I don't remember what issue it was. It was the All Ninja Turtles episode, I believe. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Extravaganza, I believe it was called. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you. I don't know what issue I was. I don't care. I know what the first <laughs> two, three issues were. I don't. Issue one was Marvel Now slash DC in the fifty two. I don't fucking remember. No. Issue, I remember four was the WrestleMania. Issue two one. was the Amazing Spider Man seven hundred. Issue three was Superior Spider Man. Issue four was WrestleMania. Issue four was Russell. Was it issue four WrestleMania? Yeah. Then issue five was. And that's where it ends, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. So okay. Brain fart, dude. Brain fart. I remember issue eighteen was. Uh, Did we even do a proper sign off? No. He's oh, still yeah, recording. No. Yeah, no, I'm still recording. Oh, this. okay. Um, uh, That's how we do it, man. Keep this it is real. how we do it. La, 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 baby. <laughs> okay. This is how we do it. Uh, all right. Um, this is how we do it. Let's make it off right. Now <laughs> next come back <laughs> for issue 19 with Sean Bendis. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Down there? I am. Hey, ain't you fun? Yeah, yeah, he had to channel his inner Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Aretha Franklin? Yeah. For a second, I thought you said Urethra Franklin. Urethra Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my stage name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought it was, uh, you know, Montel Williams. <laughs> I mean, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Montels. I got my Bob Blacks confused. <laughs> I want to tell Jordan, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess for issue 18 of the Spinner Rack, villains, what the fuck is it called? Forever Evil. Forever, Forever evil. Horrible. The DC event that nobody really gives two shits about. I'm I Jim care. <clears throat> the youth. Yeah, right. It's all about ba- 3D covers, Don't man. bash me. They hook them in. Mm-hmm. I'm Ryan. Boycotting DC come the month of September. <laughs> We're going to sign off like that with these little names. Brian... Boycotting DC Adams for the month of September. Okay, for the month of <laughs> September. We well, don't buy this shit anyway. <laughs> Someone needs to know that. John, John can't wait I'm for Villains Month. Bar. Wait, just do that again. I just cock. <laughs> <laughs> John can't yeah, wait for Villains Month. Block somebody, you know. Ooh. I one more, no, I just did it. No, again, one yeah. more time. One more time, time, John. John can't wait for Villains Month. Pepperilla. Carrie. Doesn't care. David out. That was kind of fun. Issue nine. Issue, issue nine. Issue, issue I was like, why does it look issue like a nine. G? <coughs> it doesn't does it? Like issue G? It does look like issue G. It's G. It's issue G. G. That's a fucking G. It's not a G, dude. It's a nine. That's, That's a, a fucking G. G. It's, it's a G. G. It's That's a G. motherfucking G. It's not a G. Dude, that's a, no- that's a G. Edit it now. Watch. It'll be it's a fucking G. G. Take is it, it a G or is it a nine? Take us out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the fans, well, you decide. Is it a nine or is it a G? Well, by the time they check this out, yeah, time, this is, 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 whatever it is, I'll change that. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right, so we're out of here. Talk to you guys next issue. Hey, yeah, you didn't give your name, you fuck. Yeah. All right, I already signed off. He's junior. I don't buy shit, so it doesn't matter. Fuck <laughs> who is. <laughs> You're the same way. We out, nigga. <laughs> you don't work in a store. You can at least read the shit. Too busy working. <laughs> Junior, too busy working to give a fuck for me. There you, there you go. go. <laughs>